<clears throat> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, team. Happy Friday to everybody. How is everybody doing today? I myself am doing good. I cannot complain. You guys, I'm headed into the office today. I did not have any flare-ups or anything. Thank God for Jesus. Um, but yesterday, um, I did have uh, um, the little issue that I was telling you guys about with my thighs. Um, so I did end up calling the teledoc and the teledoc was telling me um, they prescribed me a medication and you guys I thought it was steroids I mean I thought it was a, a topical cream but it's actually steroids so I'm gonna take those this morning so I should be good but um, I took the Zyrtex and the Benadryl this morning yesterday morning and I didn't have any flare-ups um, as far as like hives or anything on my body. I did have some inchiness uh, at the end of the day on my foot um, and right here, you know, in these areas. But other than that, um, no biggie. So I feel like I'm almost 200% healed. So I'm gonna take my steroids. He did give me four days worth of steroids. So I take two each morning. I'm gonna take my first ones this morning. You guys, I'm running a little bit late than I usually run because my baby girl did not go to school today. She is going with her grandmother. And, um, yeah. So, good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? Today is Friday, you guys. There's a strong possibility that I am going to be off weekends as well with my new company we are closed on sunday so that's awesome sauce they're rolling it out with us and another property good morning we're going to be the first properties that they try this with you guys look at them baby bangs they're more like the devil bangs boo uh, <laughs> y'all just saw me take my hand rag off at the car y'all don't, don't hold me to it don't hold me to it good thing about it is i have a hair comb and some guys to be so i can get them together and it got to be. That's what it got to be. Ooh. It got to be. Hey. Y'all, I don't see any comments, but good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Whew. I do appreciate that. I am going to stop and grab something. I'm hoping I have enough time to go to McDonald's because I'm running that kind of late. Because the pharmacist said it's very important that I take these steroids first thing in the morning and with food because they give me a lot of energy so i'm gonna be on the go baby go go baby go go baby go 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 Ooh, go baby go um so so far with the new company i'm loving it this transition has been smoother than i thought it would be um as far as the residents and everything i'm not really having any issues with the residents thank god but again it's still early we shall see um they bought a whole team to help us and when i say a team it's a whole bunch of them and it's a bunch of higher ups as well um and they answering phones doing everything so they they really lead by example i do appreciate that um they're extremely helpful extremely nice i have got lunch every day so far um i tried not to eat yesterday because um, they were ordering chipotle and i just didn't i didn't want to be the one to stop the line <sighs> And when my regional found out, she's like, what you want to eat? What you like to eat? So we got Mexican instead. And she was like, I'm paying for it. Have it delivered. So I got Mexican. Um, but they're just very much about you, the employee. Like, they really care about the residents, but they care about you, too. And my last company, that's what was lacking. They didn't care about nobody. They didn't. <laughs> and... Um, you know the residents were put in bad situations and they just didn't care and that's not fair and that's not how you that's not how you that's not how you do business that's not how you live that's not how you grow so at the end of the day i'm glad that i'm glad that um i'm not with them anymore i really am and i'm not just saying that because i'm in a new situation i'm saying that because i mean that Sometimes you know what's the best for you, and sometimes you don't. But when you know you and something are not a good match, just don't go with that. You know, 
what I'm saying? It's a lot of jobs and a lot of opportunities out here. So you guys don't have to be anywhere where you're tolerated and not celebrated. You don't have to be anywhere where you're tolerated, tolerated but not appreciated. And I feel like me and all of my shortcomings, in spite of, they still they still rock with me in spite of. And that's what it comes down to, is you gotta have a team, good, bad, or indifferent. I'm part of a team, and so I'm not I'm not gonna have all the strong points. I'm not gonna be the best at everything. So I'm not gonna be the worst at everything. And I'm just gonna be right there in the middle on some things too. But that's the point of having a team because wherever I'm lacking that, you can excel at it. Wherever you lacking that, I can excel at it. And wherever we both not so sure and struggling at, we can work together to come up with a plan to fix that. And it's just like, that's what was missing with my current company. And a couple of times they was telling me like teamwork is, is you know, this vision of teamwork is just not gonna work. And how you have it in your head about everybody being a team, This this you need to get that out your head. And I don't understand, I ain't never heard nothing like that before. I ain't never heard that I need to get it out of my head because in all honesty as a team you only as strong as your weakest link you only as strong as your weakest link and you have to remember too there are bad employees don't get me wrong but you really have to look at it it's not bad employees it's bad management it's just like with your kids it's just like with your kids. If your kids ain't doing something wrong, something right, it's, that's a leadership issue. And one of my one of my higher ups said that today, or yesterday, when they were talking about their kids. And I'm like, you know what? That's right. That's a leadership issue. Even with my kids, it's leadership issue. I got a ring. Reconvene, reorganize. Reestimate. Redetermine and relearn. Y'all, I had my whole guys to be in the car. <laughs> That's why I got to be. Ooh. That's where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. That's where my guys to be. Hey. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I was Mr. R is in Texas, so I called myself trying to stay up to call him. And when I called him, I did the math. It was 11:23. He was like, "It ain't time yet." I'm like, "Oh damn! Oh no, big Snoop Dogg back up in the he's a viper." So, y'all, I don't want to. I don't want to, but I'm gonna have to pay for my pool today. It ain't easy, but I gotta do it cause it gotta be done. And you know what? I could hit Mr. R up and be like, baby, 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 baby. But I ain't gonna do it to him. You know why? Cause it's his birthday. And in all honesty, I do have the funds available, so I'm gonna go on and pay for that. So let me let y'all know something. In my opinion, if you're in a relationship, it's a committed relationship. Y'all working together. Y'all are a team. It's no I in team. So if something is due and you could pay it, pay that. That ain't Mr. R's bill. You know what I'm saying? So just be a help to your mate. I don't care what it is or what it ain't. Just make sure you use a help mate, okay? If y'all don't get nothing that that girl over at Tanya Time said, she said be a help mate to your partner or whatever, okay? So whatever he need help with, I'm here to help. And I don't know if he needs help with that pool bill, but I'm not gonna wait around to find out. I'm just gonna pay it. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna wait for him to just tell me, oh baby, the pool. I know the damn pool need to be fixed just like he do. But see, I'm at, I'm at home and I'm on the home front. And I can see it with my eyes better than he can with his. And I'm gonna do that. And then when he get home, we could talk about, hey, 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 Miss Goins, how are you? I was able to resend that. I hope you were able to get it. Um, so what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to go and pay this uh, pool bill. 
and you know and I'm just not gonna worry about it and then if I do find myself short I'll just let mr. R know at that time and then he can just help a sister out so I'm just telling you just be a helpmate even if your man can't pay all the bills or if your man can't pay all the bills that doesn't matter that's y'all household that's y'all relationship what y'all do and how y'all do it that's between y'all you know what I'm saying but at the same time just don't you know just make it easier for each other any way that i can help matt i do try i know i give him a lot of stress i know i come on here and talk about how i give him hell how i give him hell when he come my way hope it gives him hell <laughs> but in all honesty in all honesty you guys I love him tremendously and want the best for him. And I, I honestly know that I make him happy because he makes me happy and that's in all honesty. Um, and I was like, I feel naked without my ring. And you guys, when I went to get my other ring, he had put it in the safe deposit box, like the little things at the banks. So now I'm ringless. I may have to just go buy me a knockoff. I don't have none of the ring, y'all. All my other rings. I used to have a ring on every finger. So there was a point when I was flashy. I used to have a ring on every finger. Um, I don't do that no more, though. I just don't do it no more. I don't even like when he, like, put his watch and stuff on. I don't like it. But at the end of the day, he gonna do what he wanna do. He gonna dress how he wanna dress. And I'm gonna be okay with that. And them baby bangs look like infinity symbols, but that's okay. I'm going to just pull this hair in front of them and call it ah, a whole day. Come on now. Make it look like I could drive. Hey, Miss Nicole, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, Miss Nicole is Chrissy08. Make sure you guys sprinkle, follow, and show her some love as well. And to all of you guys who take this journey with me every morning and day and afternoon and be patient with me and my shortcomings, I appreciate that too. Uh, my plan, I have a plan, y'all. My plan is to get everything together with this uh, social media stuff and sit down and make a plan and a calendar and all that wonderful stuff. Shout out to moms. Moms is getting the babies for me today. You guys, I'm just really blessed. I cannot complain. Like... My little village, I swear for God, this little village I'm rolling with is the best damn village. It's it's a good village. They be driving me crazy. On the on the back, oh, I see it, Miss Goins. Thank you, thank you. I'ma have to get that together too. I don't know if you saw me. I literally just snatched my rag off. I literally just snatched my wig off and um, and um, not my wig I'm lying I literally just snatched my hair rag off on here with y'all so I'm running the latest I've ran before you guys so bear with But thank you, Miss Goins. If don't nobody look out for me, you and Nicole gonna have my back. Y'all gonna let me know. So I'm gonna flood y'all timeline with everything and, and everything and anything that's Mr. R related and them babies. So today is my baby daddy birthday. So him is in Texas enjoying himself. But it's cool, it's good, in the hood, or whatever, or whatever, or, or, or whatever. Y'all, I'm finna pull up on this new McDonald's and see what it's hidden for. Y'all, y'all know what else I got? I got an invite that said I could get monetized on Instagram. Now, I'm not really sure what that means because I'm new to Instagram or whatever. But it said I could get Instagram, Instagram, monetized on Instagram, y'all. And so I'm finna try that. And y'all, I got my pills today. I got my pills today. Well, I got them yesterday. And it's, it's, uh, ooh. Prestidone, 20 milligrams. So I'm taking them two a day in the morning with food. Hence is why I pulled up on this McDonald's like I did. Because in a normal situation, I wouldn't want no food. Cause I don't really like breakfast, y'all. I don't really like breakfast. So I'ma just keep my guys to be in the car and y'all know what I do, I let my windows down. 
everything good like it's supposed to be. Ooh, that's why I'm supposed to be. my wig laying down though y'all I haven't been able to touch this wig hey ooh la la how you doing girl how you doing how you doing how you doing hey miss Coretta hope all is well thank you love I'm sending prayers and love your way as well you guys make sure y'all sprinkle and follow my girl ooh la la thank you guys so much for tuning in with me um i'm just pulling up at this mcdonald's so let me just order something really fast you guys i do have to take my medicine for my reaction or whatever but how are y'all doing today 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 Hello, welcome to McDonald's. Would you be using your mobile? Good morning, no. Hello, can, good morning. Um, can I just get the uh, egg McMuffin? No, no, no. The sausage McMuffin? Sausage egg McMuffin and cheese? Um, one? I'm sorry, I don't want the egg on it. With no egg, please. And can you put... No egg? Okay. Uh, okay, can you put that in a combo for me? Okay, medium? Uh, medium is fine with no um, ice on the Coke. Uh, what size Coke? Uh, large is fine with no ice. No ice, okay. Okay, and can I get a medium caramel frappe with extra caramel, please? We don't have any frappes at the moment. Oh, um, okay, that's fine. Just a fresh meal? Uh, yes, just a meal, sir. Okay, we five ninety seven. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hey, Miss Titus, how are you? You guys, I'm just coming to McDonald's because I'm gonna be taking. Um, from when I went to the tele teledoc, he actually gave me steroids, and I thought it was cream, y'all. So I'm gonna be taking my steroids this morning. Yes, please. Um, so I'm gonna be taking my pill this morning. So I had to get some food, and I am running late, y'all. Y'all, it's Mr. R's birthday, so I'm going to flood y'all timeline with everything him and them babies, and I'm going to be alone. So lonely, Mrs. Lonely. Hey, 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 friend. Good morning. I can't pronounce that, but how you doing? How you doing? You can't join my video, friend. You you better hit that Google Translate and let me know what's, what's good in the hood and in the suburbs. Wherever you at, friend. What, what, what country you in, friend? Hello, my love. Well, hello to you, too. Good morning, 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 teen. And how are you, friend? How are you? Thank you. Do you have strawberry jelly? Okay, just one is good. Thank you. And so, um, y'all finna see me be very unladylike. Cause I'm, thank you so much, sir. You have a good one. Y'all finna see me eat this uh, hash brown like I like 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 a like, light like I'm on a rush or something like like I'm running late or something like 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 if like like if you know like like when if you know like when I see or oh, it like when I'm running late. <laughs> Cause I am y'all. Them is big fats, no cap. God is great. God is good. Let us thank you for the food by here. We are fed to get love a daily bread. Amen. <sighs> Good morning, Autism Every Day. How are you? I am so sorry. Shout out to Miss Ernestine Miller with Autism Every Day, but my apologies. This is Autism Journey with Elijah. Make sure you guys sprinkle and follow Autism Journey with Elijah. Thank you so much for tuning in, hun. I was just talking too fast. Today is day four or three or something like that with my new situation and honestly you guys it's been a blessing it is a situation oh your birthday is 10 13 all right libra's in the building um and so y'all i'm gonna be at the house by myself i may be off tomorrow y'all this company is closing on weekend on um excuse me on um saturday sunday y'all so i'll probably get the weekend though if I don't, that's fine. If I do, that's great. If I don't, I like a day off during the week for my kids. Yay. I'm glad it was a compliment. She is awesome sauce and so are you. You guys do an awesome job and you do awesome things. So 
just in case no one's told you you are awesome soft y'all i know i'm smacking i'll be smacking even if i'm not in the room but i'll be smacking this hash brown is hot y'all know i still ain't got my toothpicks yet i had to table it when i put something to the side it's called tabling hey joy good morning joy Whew. thank you guys for the reactions y'all i'm gonna try to hey kitty cat Dozy, how are you, girl? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for the sprinkle. Thank you guys for the reaction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Sauce, the fact that you choose to spend your mornings with me, I love and appreciate y'all for that tremendously. I don't mean to smack in y'all face, but I gotta eat this so I can take my little steroid. So I make sure I'm not inching. Oh my, I'm sorry to hear that, Coretta. I'm hoping that you get on top of it and you have the victory. I'm going to send some healing prayers your way as well. My daughter is doing well. She is able to put pressure on her foot without the boot. So she is doing well. It's a hairline fracture. After panicking and getting y'all into panic, I realize a hairline fracture ain't really that big of a deal. But she is well, thank God. I gotta get her this ankle bracelet because they said once you roll your knee, you'll probably roll it again. So I just gotta get her one of those just to protect her from little stuff like playing kickball at school. Or whatever these kids do at school, I don't even know. Or they may do virtual kickball. Her, her knee ankle may be fine. So you guys transition has been really good y'all i may be getting paid on instagram oh la la i got an invite i don't really know what it means i'm gonna google it yay thank you miss goins i'm gonna go live with y'all tonight for a whole minute it's gonna be a vibe it gotta be a vibe because i'm not into no one ain't no excuses whatever you want you gotta work for Nothing's perfect, but it's worth it. If you don't get up and get out every day and put the work in for you, who gonna do it? Like, I'm on my way to this J O N B. I'm putting in the work for me, but I'm making somebody else great. I'm doing good or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a bed. But at the end of the day, I want to be in the same position they in. And they got that from hard work and dedication. Whatever it is. Remember your why. Why did I get up this morning? Why did I make these commitments to myself? Why am I fighting so hard? Who am I trying to prove wrong? Who am I trying to prove right? Sometimes we got something to prove and sometimes on principle alone, we'll go harder in the paint. But sometimes it's the principle for me. And when I get too petty, it's, a, it's about the principle. And I'll, I'll ride it till the wheels fall off on principle. Yeah. IG is easier and it's, it's a bag. And I, uh, it's, it's owned by Meta. And another big influencer that I'm cool with was arguing with another big in influencer because she wasn't monetized on Instagram. And she said, don't worry about that. You won't be able to use that against me for long because I'll be in, I'll be monetized on Instagram by tomorrow. I ain't checked back in with her, but I'm sure she is. And my baby brother love Instagram. Excuse me, y'all. He love Instagram. Hell, TikTok, excuse me. TikTok can verify me as a business. I don't know what that means. I don't know if the check in the mail and the direct deposit. I'm just trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm just trying to figure it out. Amen, amen. Yes, we was. Yes, we was. And that's the thing about it. So in stating. 
wins the race. It's just like at the end of the day, you ain't got to compete with none. You ain't got to go back and forth with none. You ain't got to create drama. You ain't got to do no skits. You ain't got to do the 50 dip, the, the Tootsie Roll, nothing unless you want to. Now, if that's what you want to do, go for what you know. Some of them skits be funny as heck. And I be watching drama. I ain't gonna lie. I be watching drama. I refuse to keep anyone one anyone else we got our place and that's it right right and I'm gonna be honest with you as soon as I get it I'm gonna share it as much of it as I can share I'm gonna share because in all honesty somebody reached out and shared with me and I'm gonna I'm extend the favor because I know God is not pleased with some of the things that's going on and where you at now is not where you always gonna be and sometimes God will shake the room how many times have you had it all and lost it all <clears throat> how many times have you lost it all and got it all back in my in my cycle with Matt we have been up and down we have been without cars to too many cars we have been without housing to owning a house we have been not able to pay $15 for a meal for me and $15 for a meal for him to paying $30 a plate for our daughter. So I'm not saying that to brag. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just letting you guys know I used to walk in stores and snatch clothes off the rack and not even look at the price. To From going to that, from that, to not really shopping at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, to being in there every day. So God has bought me a mighty long way. So when I tell you guys I'm not new to it, I'm true to it, I know how to work. I know how to work hard. I know about struggles. I know about wins. I know about loss. I know about it all. So at the end of the day, I don't have to compete and go back and forth with Nan because I'm not worried about losing it all because I've lost it all before and gained it all back. And who would have knew? So look at me now. But as long as you stay connected to the most highest who sits on high and watches low, as long as you stay connected to that, you ain't got to connect to nothing else. You understand me? So right, wrong, or indifferent, don't let nobody tell you what you can do. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Just know what you can do. And like Nike, just do it. So y'all, I know we was just getting into a word, but I got to get out of here. It's time for me to get in here to get to this bag and look at that hair. But I'm going to get off of here and we're going to be back together later, okay? I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Bye.